So, Gother, hmm? ten years ago, when all of us were framed for trying to overthrow the kingdom of Leonis, well, I was wondering if you remember... I know what you want to ask. I see your own memory of the event is clouded. Incomplete. But you wish to find out who assaulted you when we fled. Do you know? Yes. I do, in fact. It was the boar sin of gluttony. Merlin. Uh, Merlin? But why? I can't speak to her motive. I did hear several rumors, but none of them proved to be reliable. And whenever I got close to the truth, she would disappear again without a trace. Hey, guys! You won't believe this! Our buddy Gother here was actually able to pick out King by his B.O. <laughs> Along with his bone structure and tone. Really? You recognized him by his smell? I'm curious. Let's all have his smell. Hmm. <laughs> Kinda sickly sweet, isn't it? Like flowers. Hey! <laughs> it smells so familiar. It's what the Fairy King should smell like. Ian's face is so close. Guys, knock it off! If you keep crowding me, I might... <laughs> now he smells kind of sour. Like sweaty socks. It's not that bad, guys. You must be imagining things. This one smells familiar, too. <laughs> Gross, man. Don't let him get to you, Sir King. What's the big idea ganging up on me? I didn't do anything to you. Of course you did! started this mess, so you need to clean it up! Very well. <laughs> Deanne, you claim to be 29 feet tall, when in fact, you know you're actually closer to 30. Huh? The fudging of your weight is even more severe. What is wrong with you, Gother? Why do you have to be so mean? A lady's allowed to keep some secrets, you jerk! What's the point in lying about a foot when you're as tall as she is? You're a boy. You wouldn't understand. As for you, Bon, during the battle with the vampires in Edinburgh 12 years ago, you got rather unreasonably drunk. Yeah, that's right. I got pretty hammered and decided not to join the mission. I said I was sorry. But you didn't apologize for using physical hunt to steal King and Deanne's power, or for laughing at them as you watched them both struggle. Oh, so that explains why I felt so weak all of a sudden. That was you? Come on, it was a long time ago. Forgive me. <laughs> It wasn't my finest moment, but I don't deserve this! You're right. Knock it off! Why do you always have to make trouble for everybody? Could you please just give it a rest? Yeah, there's no reason to air our dirty laundry, right? That's right! I mean, not that I have any dirty laundry! <laughs> you could have defeated that opponent without me. As a matter of fact, King, you would have won easily if you'd pushed your power to the absolute limit. Hmm? <laughs> Perhaps the alcohol is affecting my judgment, but... Elaine? Go through no! This Helborn person, who is he? It seems because of this man, you find <sighs> yourself unable to... Perhaps unable isn't the word. No, 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 no! No, he was on the floor. <sighs> Calm down. Nothing to get worked up about. Oh, yeah? This is why you probably shouldn't delve so deep into people's memories, Gother. He's right. Gotta read the room a little, dude. Read the... Room? Sir Meliodas! Your meat just came out of the oven! Oh, thanks! Uh, hmm. Is the princess in love with the captain? <laughs> her voice rises in pitch and her heart rate accelerates, which doesn't happen when she speaks to the rest of us. I've heard of this before. It's called love, a condition that affects humans as well as other species. Quit talking, you idiot! Man, we're really in for it now. Just take it easy, Deanne. No need to blow away the village. <sighs> yeah. Well, I think I'll go back inside. Elizabeth? Uh, Here. Thanks a lot. What do you mean? It's not that Liz wanted you to fight. She wanted you to live, right? Um... Hmm? I was just wondering about what kind of person Liz was. Let me see. She was the exact opposite of you. Really strong-willed, so we'd fight sometimes. But in other ways, you two are a lot alike. You think so? Yeah. You're strong. Both of you. 
Really? I am? And you've got a couple other things in common. Oh, uh... Tell me, is that some kind of greeting? For her?